So I've got a question for you guys today. Can you fly an airplane below the stall speed? I mean, that's the limit, right? If the airplane gets any slower than the stall speed, the airplane is bound to stall. Hey guys, what's up? John here from Fly8MikeAlpha.com and today I'm here to show you how you can fly an airplane slower than the stall speed. So let's watch our airspeed indicator here. We're showing 60 miles per hour right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep trimming. I got my nose nice and high up on the horizon. I've already done some clearing turns here. There's another aircraft around us. We'll go ahead and keep pitching, keep pitching. And we can see we have the bottom of the white arc coming up right about 45 miles per hour. So we've got our flaps, we'll go ahead and extend them. And now, we're at the bottom of the white arc. Will the airplane stall if we get any slower? I don't know, let's find out. Let's keep flying slower. Oh, there's 40. Now we're below the bottom of the white arc. We're below stall speed. There's 35. And there's about 30 miles per hour indicated airspeed. If I go ahead and look at my cell phone here, I can see an indicated ground speed right about 30 knots or so. And yeah, the airplane's still flying. If it wasn't flying, guess what would happen? We'd actually watch the airplane stall, just like right about here. There's the stall. Now the airplane's not flying anymore but it can actually still fly well below the bottom of the white arc. Why is that? Why can the airplane fly below stall speed? That shouldn't happen, right? Well, it's a simple trick. If you remember from your training, we say that the airplane can stall at any airspeed. So that doesn't mean just above the stall speed, it could stall below the stall speed. And what affects that is load factor. So if we increase the load factor on the wing, if we add more weight by say putting the airplane into a bank and pulling back abruptly, then we're increasing the weight on the wing, increasing the G-forces, and we increase the stall speed. Conversely, if we just push forward on the yoke and let everything fly up in the airplane, we decrease the stall speed. And how did I decrease the stall speed there to make the airplane fly slower than 40 miles per hour? Well, simple. I'm the only one in the airplane today. We're well below gross weight. The bottom of the white arc is there based on the gross weight of the airplane. So does that mean you should go out and try to fly the airplane below the stall speed? No, but it's a good thing to know that the airplane's going to be landing actually below the indicated stall speed if you're doing it right, because we always want to land the aircraft pretty much in a full stall, especially a tailwheel airplane like this, where we want to land in a nice nose-high three-point attitude when we're doing a short field approach or short field landing or soft field landing. 